In this video we're going to cover 11 possible causes of breast pain and it's important to note that there are many reasons that breasts can be painful and although the reasons are not usually serious, if the pain doesn't improve then you should see your doctor. So I'm going to split the causes down into hormonal reasons, infections, injuries and inflammation, non-physical related as well as cancer. So let's start off with the reasons that fall under the hormonal category and the first one of these is experiencing breast pain related to your period. Breast pain that's linked to the timing of your period usually begins up to two weeks before a period. It then typically gets worse and tends to go away when the period ends and then again comes back when your next period begins. This is why it can be referred to as cyclical breast pain. Now most women describe their breasts feeling dull, heavy or aching and it can affect both breasts and sometimes can spread round to the armpit. The second hormonal reason for experiencing breast pain can be medicines like the contraceptive pill and some antidepressants. This is because certain medicines can alter the body's natural hormone cycles and it can cause more breast discomfort or in some cases it can actually relieve the pain. Again the effects are going to vary depending on the type of pill as well as the individual person's response. The third reason is pregnancy. Again, this is due to the hormonal changes that are occurring within the body that can make the breasts feel more tender. And finally, menopause is the fourth reason that falls under the hormonal category, again for similar reasons that we've already discussed regarding hormone changes. So these are the four main hormonal reasons for breast pain. Cyclical breast pain related to the timing of the period, external hormones such as the pill, as well as pregnancy and menopause. So now let's cover infectious reasons. Now the fifth reason for some women experiencing breast pain is something like mastitis and this is the term for inflammation or swelling in the breasts which can be caused by an infection. Although mastitis most often affects those who are breastfeeding, it can occur in women who are not. Now the symptoms of mastitis include swelling, pain and warmth in part of the breast, fever, sometimes headaches and general flu-like symptoms. The treatment for an infection is antibiotics. And a person who is breastfeeding will also need to empty the breasts of milk. Now the sixth reason which again falls under the infectious cause for having breast pain is an abscess. This is more of a deep infection and it can form if the mastitis isn't treated quickly. Now if this is present then the pus that collects will need to be drained using either a needle or making a small cut in the skin. Again you should make sure you see a doctor if you notice a painful red and warm breast or if you develop a lump or swelling in your breast. So now that we've covered the hormonal and infectious reasons for having breast pain, let's take a look at injuries or inflammation, which can also be a cause of breast pain. Now the seventh cause of breast pain are injuries or sprains to the neck, shoulder or back. These can be felt as breast pain because of radiation of pain. Remember, the nerves that originate in the back are responsible for innovating and sensitising the skin around the breast tissue. Similarly, costochondritis, which is inflammation of the costal cartilage around the rib cage, can mimic breast pain. The eighth reason could be because of scar tissue secondary to an old injury operation or things like radiation. For example, if you've had a previous breast issue, then having radiotherapy for breast cancer can lead to the formation of scar tissue, which can be tense and painful. And things like physical therapy can help to try and relieve some of this pain. Now this leads us on to non-physical related causes of breast pain. And the ninth reason are actually poorly fitting or tight bras. Bras can cause breast pain if they're too tight or if they contain an underwire that can dig into the skin or the breast tissue. If a person gets cyclical breast pain, so that pain around the time of their periods, they may feel that their bra can sometimes be too tight or uncomfortable at certain times of the month. Now number 10 is another non-physical cause are certain medications that can cause breast pain. These are things like antidepressants. And again, it's worth checking the information leaflet inside the medicine pack if you've recently started a new medication and then you've gone on to notice breast pain as it could be a recognized side effect of this medicine. However, if you're unsure, then you should speak to your doctor or your pharmacist. Finally, at number 11, I've left this cause to breast pain to the end, and that's because it's a, a much less common reason for breast pain, but it's important, and that's breast cancer. In fact, the NHS website does state that breast pain by itself is unlikely to be a symptom of cancer. But if you're experiencing breast pain in addition to other concerning symptoms, especially a lump or changes in the skin overlying the breasts, 
bleeding from the nipple or changes in the skin around the nipple, and I've covered all of the concerning signs of breast cancer in another video on this channel, then you should see your doctor. So now we've covered these 11 potential reasons for breast pain, what could you do to try and alleviate the breast pain? Well, there are a few things you can try to do at home that are generally advised, such as wearing a supportive and well-fitting bra and taking simple pain relief, which can be purchased from the pharmacy. And your local pharmacist will be able to advise you on the best type of pain relief for this. But if this isn't working and you're still experiencing pain, then it's best to speak to your doctor. Likewise, you should also speak to your doctor if there's a history of breast cancer in your family, or if you think you might be pregnant, then you should do a pregnancy test, and again, speak to your doctor if this is positive. Finally, if you're having any of the following symptoms or signs, then you must seek urgent medical attention. So firstly, if you've got breast pain and have a very high temperature, or you feel hot or shivery. If any of your part of your breast is red, hot, or swollen. If there's a hard lump in your breast that doesn't move around. If you get nipple discharge, which may be streaked with blood. If one or both breasts tend to change shape. If the skin on your breast is dimpled like an orange peel, or if you've got a rash around or on your nipple, or if the nipple has sunk into your breast. These are all reasons why you should go and speak to your doctor. Now this brings us to the end of the video. This wasn't an exhaustive list of causes of breast pain, it was just to give you a general flavour of the 11 possible causes that could be causing breast pain. And if you do want to find out more about possible causes, please see the references in the description box. If you did learn something new, please can I request that you consider giving the video a thumbs up and leaving me a comment in the comment section. This is also really helpful to help other people in the community who want to learn about other people's real life experiences. Also, if you've not subscribed to the channel, I'd be most grateful if you could consider doing so. Thank you for watching, and as ever, until next time, bye.